So we're out here at the 300 yard range with the 69 smoothbore and Private Snuffy was so kind to volunteer <laughs> to stand out and to test the effectiveness of 300 yard smoothbore musketry. And we got a mess of buck and ball cartridge and we're just gonna blaze away <laughs> for fun and, uh, and see if we can even get close to hitting a, a soldier sized out of 300 yards. Ready? We're ready. It's pretty well known that at close range, smoothbore muskets firing buck and ball were terribly effective. Each cartridge launched a 65 caliber musket ball and three 31 caliber buckshot. At under 100 yards, blasts of buck and ball were utterly devastating, a fact that several units distinctively acknowledged on their monuments here in Gettysburg. But what about distances over 100 yards? Colonel Ernest Wilford was the chief instructor of the British Army's School of Musketry at Hythe, and to illustrate the inaccuracy of the smoothbore musket, he offered to be shot at all day by a musket from 300 yards. Still affectionately called Brown Bess, the pattern 1842-75 caliber smoothbore was less accurate than the U.S. 69 caliber musket, but the concept is the same can a smoothbore hit a man at 300 yards? To test Colonel Wilford's claim, we put Private Snuffy out at 300 yards. He had emerged more or less unscathed from our last experiment on the trajectory of rifle musket bullets, uh, which is still a work in progress. Uh, he will report to us what our accuracy is like out at 300 yards with a 6.9 caliber buck and ball. I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, you're taking way too long for buck and ball. Oh. Yeah, I don't think this will be able to see any holes. Oh yeah, yeah, I see it there. I think you're a little low, actually. Okay, I think you're a little low. All right, I'll aim up. I saw that clear. The cool kids with their ARs were making so much noise that I just had to turn the sound completely down uh, for this section. Here's the results at 50 yards. Uh, the target is completely riddled with holes, and we had a basic understanding of where to aim. Now on to 300 yards. Can I even see him out there? Nope, looks like a white speck. Here we go. 300 yards. 300 yards. That old snuffy. Hold on, there we go. Yeah, whenever you're ready. You ready? Yep. Hmm, hard to tell. I didn't see anything. What do we do if we get down there? And he's covered in holes? <laughs> I quit. That's what I do. <laughs> we'll have to write him off. Man, the things I do for work. This is not an exact science here. Oops. Can you hear oh yeah, you you did hit the dirt. I hit the 
dirt. Yep, you hit the dirt right above his head. Oh, you got him. <laughs> you got him. You got you shot Private Snuffy through the thigh. His left thigh. Oh, he's got a pension now. You're aiming at the head? Yeah. All right, well, shoot him again. You hit <laughs> 300 yards. <laughs> Well, remember, people, buy your buck and ball cartridges from papercartridges.com for the superior best. accuracy. <laughs> wow. You want to take a walk? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll have a go. Now that he's adulterated, you yeah. might as well just... Uh... Yeah. I'll tell you, that guy would have been, uh, that guy not want to be standing out there at no 300 yards getting shot out by a battalion of guys with these. Now, just for fun. Just for funsies. I think the moral of the story is I wouldn't want to be 300 yards from anybody shooting black powder muskets at me. All right. Oh, Private Snuffy. What on earth? Um, well, fortunately, he was wearing one of those patent iron suits underneath his uniform. So, apart from, from some contusions. So, this was the first, uh, the first 69 round ball hit that Nick got him. Uh, that's 
I, I, I am astonished at 300 yards. Uh, <laughs> he would, uh, he would hit. Now I don't see any buckshot holes. Now this is a 69. Uh, because that wasn't there. There's the buckshot. Oh yeah, look at that. There's the, wow, well, so there's a pritchet and there's the round ball. Whack. Looks like it, looked like it contoured itself to the barrel. See how flat it is? I did cast those out of pure lead, so yeah. it wouldn't surprise me if it, uh, it would have bumped up Almost a little looks bit. Looks like it's. Yeah. Okay. So, and then the rifle. Got them one, two, three, and then for some reason four. So four out of five, I think, with the with the infield. And of course, I really took my time aiming those uh, rifle shots, but. Uh, the, the lesson I wanted to demonstrate, oh, and by the way, in case anyone wonders, these holes in his haversack are from uh, 556, from a prior uh, shooting trip. Uh, that's not buckshot, in case anyone was thinking that might have been. And this up here was a rock that got bounced up uh, into Private Snuffy last time. But what I really wanted to demonstrate, and could not, because Nick freaking hit him with a round ball, is I wanted to demonstrate that the rifle was supremely better than the smoothbore and at 300 yards there's like no point of even wasting your time shooting smoothbore when actually with some disciplined troops uh, who know where to aim you could put rounds on target at uh, 300 yards so but not very many um, and then the rifle nailed them most of the time, which is expected. Uh, but uh, it's fun, though. I'm going to go back and look for some bullets and then uh, put some Band-Aids on a little snuffy here. Here's the final results. It's really not a surprise to anyone that the rifle is more accurate out at 300 yards. But Nick still dropped one in with the smoothbore, which is very impressive. I'm Brett from papercartridges.com. Thanks for watching.